What's up everyone and welcome back to 12 Universe Make It Better Episode 4. It is episode 4, right? Ah uh, well, it is the Make It Better series. So, I recently found two of those, uh, what is it called? Iron Steel Stalwart Mark 1. So, I got two of them. And, well, this ship looks decent, actually. It's one of the default ships, again, that you can buy from the UEF store. Uh, it's quite decent, but it's not space-capable, people. It's only in atmosphere, so... Um, it's kind of, you know, meh, if you ask me, you know. And, well, my goal is to make it fly in space, which is gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh, let me check the stats on it. Let me first check if it's empty. I haven't even looked. I think I took everything out. Yeah, it's empty. So, um... Right, what about... Oh, stats are pretty good. Did I even put the talents on? Let's see. Reapply talents. Uh... I think it went down. I, I forgot now how much I had. Let's check the other one. This one is definitely a lot less. So, reapply talents. Maybe that one is not empty. No, it's all empty. Why isn't it... Um okay, so... Um right, those are the stats for you. No space stats, obviously. Uh, it's an s core build. I'm gonna make this more, you know, basic a little bit, you know. I'm gonna take some um, stuff off from inside. But the main goal is to make it space capable. I don't know what's all this in here. This looks cool though. I that down! Might get rid of this screen in here. You don't really need that. What is that? Uh, uh, screen XS. Might just leave it. I don't know what this laser in here is for. Uh, it's kind of really weird stuff. See the laser. It's in the toilet. And it goes onto the bed. And what's this? Okay, I thought this will turn that off. Apparently not. It's quite cool interior. I do like it. Uh, not sure about this toilet in here. Why does how does this work then? You know, it closed. I think this laser and stuff somehow is. Okay, I'm I'm stuck in the toilet now. <laughs> what is it linking to? Let me check. Uh, an operator. I don't know what this all this physics are supposed to be in here. Is that the one? Yeah, uh, no, that's an AND operator, not an AND. Okay, whatever. This this is supposed to be something I think it closes when you go through it, but whatever, whatever. So, um, you can't access the container from here, though. It's just a window on some reason. I don't know why. There is some... Oh, I don't like glitching voxels. Uh, right, so, um, I'm gonna get started, first. I'm gonna lift this up first. Uh, so you can see the original one side by side with it, they're both original. It has a lot of, um, low altitude lift though, it's insane, it's 18. And again, I can just show you, I don't know who is making these, these builds. I think this doesn't have an arch hut, I think the other one has, let me check. No, this one has. I have to be really careful in here, but... Ouch! You see what I mean? And then it goes completely cuckoo la la. I mean, look at that. Look, I'm going down now, and it's going up. Hover height. Okay, let's put it down. Okay. So, why doesn't it respect that hover height? Look, where is it going? Why does it still... I, I guess it wants that fluffy dice in there. The die. Not dice. Dice is two, actually. I don't know, this hard shot uh, is really spastic with this. It first smacks me into the ceiling and now it doesn't respect the hover height. See, it keeps going back. Uh, I'll just land. I, I That's what I wanted to show you. I don't think it broke anything. I, I don't know, it's just weird that it does that. And then it goes completely cuckoo lala. It doesn't respect my uh, hover height anymore, so it's really weird, you know. 
Right, so the low altitude lift is just absolutely insane on this one. I don't know why it has so many um, hovers in here. I'm not going to put the uh, space boosters on it because they just eat fuel. Definitely needs more uh, high altitude lift, a lot more. So uh, goal is to make it space capable and add uh, high altitude lift. Oh, that's gonna be really tricky. There is no room for the space uh, engines. Okay, I think I'll put two in here. I'll remove, uh, get rid of these two and uh, put these over in the front or here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's where I'm gonna put the uh, space engines. I can actually try. What's eh? No, that's the wrong thing. That's this one. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, they're not even the same height. Look at that, 16, 16, 17, 16. They're all the different height. Okay, so that's fine. Right, so, uh, whoops, excuse me. Let's put this 16.5 and let's see if I can uh, mush that in here. Wait, the other one was 17 anyways, so that's fine. And also, where's the center of the mass? That's actually pretty well uh, centered. But it's gonna go backwards with the engine, so... Mm. I don't know why it has this light in here, like, wh what's that? That that has to go away, I don't need that. Right, so I'm gonna fiddle around with this and then I'll show you what I come up with. Ugh, I forgot again. I should first test it and see how much weight it can lift. So let's put some stuff on it, shall we? Let's uh, put it by the mass. Uh, I don't think I can put more. Let's see. Um, uh, right, it's gonna be difficult putting more than uh, one kiloton on it. Let's check the stats with one kiloton. Whoops, excuse me, it was already open. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. It's high altitude lift is only one G, so uh, there really is no point trying because it's not going to work. One G means that it can only hover. It's not gonna be able to gain the altitude at all. So that's really bad. Wait, what's this? That's blocked. What? Wait, wait, I need to see that now. Where is that? Um, bum, 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 no. Adjust the list. What? What? I mean... Okay, uh... 2232 22 why and it's 17% blocked why this makes absolutely zero sense at all I don't think it is blocked on the other one I'm gonna check in a second I'll first take all this out Let's check this one then. No, it is. It's it's blocked on this one too. And now the game broke. It's not showing. Oh my god. I think I know how uh, this bug happens now. See, if I hover the mouse over, it doesn't tell me how much it's blocked anymore. And I think this happens when you exit the build mode while the menu is still open. Let me try this theory. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the thing. But why is that blocked? So anyway, it's not going to go anywhere with um, one kiloton or well, 1,000 tons because the high altitude lift is just no, 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 no. So I also noticed it uses stabilizer M's and they have the same amount of lift which is the M wing. However, they weigh um, two tons, well, a little bit over, while the M wings there is an M wing for you. Let me inspect this one. It weighs uh, 1.7, I believe. Yes, 1.7. Uh, although the stabilizers, they do have the better stall angle, as you can see, which is uh, 70 degrees, and these uh, wings are uh, 55 degrees. But I don't really see that big of, you know, difference. And the lift drag ratio, the um, higher it is, the better it is, as you can see. So the stabilizers just... Um, cause a lot of track and um, that's all um, and also if you compare the size I mean look at the size difference between M wing and that 
that that's just quite massive you know i mean it's not that big actually but i'm taking them off because they're gonna be blocking my uh space engines space engines have to go down here might have to remove um a couple of s wings as well and rearrange the brakes in here but yeah i want to put the space engines um coming out from this area in here so this has to go as well these uh, whatever these things are in here what's going on that's lumen i believe yep lumen essence so the space engines they um supposed to go somewhere here like that whoops what is it uh okay it's going into the wing that's that's what i was afraid of otherwise they can um yeah, and that brake also has to come out of the way, but uh, that's my idea. I want to put them um, more like here somewhere. I have to... Oh, wait. You, you get the idea. That's my idea. I want to put them somewhere in there, so I'm gonna have to rearrange some of the stuff in here. Right, so I realized that um, it has eight hovers and then two atmospheric engines, and um, this one in here, I really don't know why you need it, so... <clears throat> This comes off because uh, this way I can link all the atmospheric stuff into the same fuel tank and put the space fuel tank um, right here. I believe it was um, this one is the... Um, yeah, see, let's uh, remove those ones. Now we can take the tank off and put the space fuel tank in. Oh my god, these uh, doors. And link those engines to that fuel tank and... Um, that should be it, so I'm gonna fit the space fuel tank in here instead. And in meanwhile, in case you don't know, the atmospheric brakes can be anywhere. They um, work from everywhere. And the developers have actually done this themselves, so um, you can't say that ah, it's glitching, because they have actually done this. There were uh, two atmospheric brakes were right here stacked on top of each other, so right under the whatever I just found two of them but um, I'm just putting the space brakes in here instead now a third one is not gonna go so I'll just have two underneath it already has 10 G uh, space brakes which isn't too bad actually and that's only three large brakes so um, I will put a little bit more I don't know if this would be a good idea that would kind of look lame but uh, that would be the last resort if I can't put them anywhere else then that's where I'm gonna put the space brakes okay so uh, the space engines they are here I put the fuel tank in the middle in there we have enough uh, space thrust uh, enough space brakes although I do have to check it against um, cargo when I put the cargo on However, it still needs lift, so I'm gonna have to figure something out with the wings in here. I might just put wings on the side somewhere, but we'll see. I do have a couple of good ideas in here, without um, ruining the looks too much, you know. But um, I'll show you what I come up with. So I started putting the medium wings in here, which looks pretty cool, but um, I actually ran out. I have no idea where all my wings are probably on that one and then on that big one but um, that's why I have the factory here for which I can show you real quick I will do the base tour another time but uh, these are my medium wings in here so uh, not sure how many do I need let's just take eight of them and as you can see the tingling is making more so that's how my uh, factory is set up so I don't have to worry about that that's how I um, easily get the parts. Ah, uh, da da! It is done. I just realized that this other one had uh, little tiny itty bitty wings in here. I didn't even notice that. This is the one I didn't touch, and that's mine. All right, let's uh, take a look what I did. Then I think you notice know a uh, lot of stuff in here already. Wait, what's this? How, what? Which wing is that? That one? How did that take damage? Wait, now it disappeared. No, it didn't. Uh, wait, how is that damaged? It's not! Huh? Okay, whatever, whatever. 
nothing is blocked. I checked it except that uh, adjuster, and I am not uh, going to redesign this entire um, front end in here. You just have to move it one block out, and then you have to move everything out, and then the other side. Uh, I just can't bother with it. Okay, right. But so the rest of the stats. Um, let's put the space thing in there. This one in here. Let's just reapply talent just to make sure it's uh, all correct. I mean, it's not gonna change because uh, I did it with my talent, so... If you want more uh, space breaks, as you can see, I put four of them in here. Nice and um, tidy, and two more in here. But if you want more, you can put two large ones just on the side of the container. I just didn't want to put it because it would just completely ruin the side, you know. So um, that's why I did it. And another thing is that it uses a lot of um, iron, which makes it really, really heavy. Actually, not really. Let's see how much... Um, mate, get over here. Uh, honeycomb. Wait, no, mass. We're going to mass. Honeycomb. Yeah, look at that. 22 tons. That's a lot. I mean, it's for a ship like this, 22 tons is not much, but on just on honeycombs, that's a little bit of waste. Just a reference, I'm gonna show you my um, Tempest Sky Cruiser, which is an M-Core beast. Uh, let me show you this one, where is mass? Honeycomb, 5 tons. Yep, and look at the size of this. This is why you use carbon fiber, see? Actually, lumin essence is the lightest material, but um, iron is one of the heaviest. I'll show you real quick something really interesting. Here you go. That's a quick list that shows you which uh, materials are the lightest in here. So uh, lumin, carbon fiber, read the rest. So plastic is not even in the top five, which is kind of crazy that concrete is lighter than plastic. I mean, it makes no sense, but uh, also brick and marble. Marble is actually really heavy in real life, so is concrete and brick. But these are the in-game, um, you know, the weight. This is per uh, cubic meter, so. And once the build is, uh, well, well, the video is published, it's gonna be somewhere in here. I already previously did the Ronin era, which, is, uh, which I definitely made a lot better. So this is where you're gonna find it, the VR is Setios. Alright, but back to the build. So, as you can see, the stats have gone uh, up significantly. I can actually compare it to this old one. Let's check this one. Obviously, the top speed is slightly better because it has um, less wings and less, you know, cross-section and stuff. But uh, look at the high altitude lift. Ridiculous. And obviously, no space, nothing. So, uh, let's check this one now. There you go. Max thrust obviously has also gone down because uh, a lot of weight has, you know, been put uh, on it, but uh, that's how it is. Uh, also, actually, I will do this right now. I will put one uh, Atmo break right in the middle in here. Actually, I can put it underneath. Let's see if I can put it underneath. Let's uh, lift it up. You want to see the below the belly side anyway, so can't see anything in here. Uh, could put that will break back in here. Let's see if I can lift this back up. Um, whoops, it disappeared now. Oh yeah, that's why I did it. It doesn't go in there. Wait, it does actually. Where, where is it? Yeah, let's try if I can uh, smoosh one Atmo break uh, below in there. Uh, one... No, it doesn't go anywhere, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's uh, undo that then. Something is definitely blocking it. And let's put that Atmo break right on top of the container, shall we? Oh, I see. Bloody hell, mean. I really wanted to put that Atmo break in here. I don't know why the hitboxes are so weird. I can still put it. Yeah, I can still put that Atmo break in here. Um, whatever. Let's just put it in here and let's cover it up with... Um, some uh, carbon fiber voxels like so. No, that that went to uh, crap. Can I just put one one block? Yeah, one block is enough. So let's just do that. Just a quick quick thing, you know, quickie. 
All right, that's all fixed now. I just don't like floating elements. It just looks ridiculous, even though I um, kind of have these wings floating in here, but I just can't bother, you know, doing the voxel work because um, this is not make it nicer, it's make it better, but also not make it uglier. You have to remember that, so I kind of like this front end. It came out really cool. And also these flowers, these have to go, these I can't, they're sticking through, like, like, what is this? No, I'm gonna just remove them, I'm gonna get rid of them. Wait, what is this? Um, I, I don't care, I'm just removing this. This this is like horrible, it sticks through. Uh, right, so, okay, did I forget anything? I don't think I did. So, um, I also put some uh, more adjusters on, like in here, so it gives, you know, um, more pitch up and down. See, two are in here, medium ones, and uh, no, I put it on top. Two on top also. No, sorry, one in here, just one. So, just a little bit, you know. Uh, these wings are a little bit non-symmetrical, but I don't think you can even see them in here. See these ones, because I can only fit three in here. Uh, so, here are the medium ones in here. Uh, angled wings, angled, angled. Nothing is blocked, I already showed you. Uh, these ones I don't particularly like, they kinda, you know, get in the way, but I mean it's okay. I try to keep it, you know, um, original size and all that, so... This is not rebuilding uh, series, it's make it better. So anyway, if you need more braking power, put the big um, space brakes you can put right here on each side. And uh, at more breaks, you can stack more in here if you want. So this is really easy if you need it. So you put uh, one there. Uh, wait, whoops. Uh, yeah, it goes like, whoops, no. It goes four up and then another four. So you can put uh, two there and you can put another one in here. So you can just keep stacking them. I mean, that's already good breaking power as it is. So I'm not going to, you know, fiddle around with it. But... Um, that's how it is, people. See, the space brakes are below in here. Uh, Atmo brakes in there. And I think the center of the mass is pretty much where it was before. Yeah, it's pretty much where it was before. I think it was slightly back. Let's, let's check on the other one. Where is it? Yes, that's the good thing. I got two of them. No, it's actually forward. Damn it. It's a little bit forward. But okay, it's it's not an issue. It's just a slight, you know, um, adjustment. Uh, besides, this is actually better because the container hub, as you can see, is in here. And all the containers link into it. Wait, why is it free and what? Oh yeah, I'll show you one thing that uh, annoys the absolute crap out of me. But, um, oh, okay, no, never mind. I know why it's like that. Or is it? No, it's not. Wait, what are these? Wait. These sides are not even same. Look, one one is poking through and that one is not. Oh mate, I hate inconsistencies. I just hate it. It just Look, there is one in here. Wait, what what? No, never mind. Let's put this on. No wrong tool. Oh my god. Seventeen twenty one two point four. 17, 21, 2.5. Okay, see, wh why is there two containers on this side and one in there? Let me see if I can fix this. Uh, let me search for an... Um, whoops, container X. Wait, on... Where did I get that from? No, I'm not putting that in there. Uh, yeah, how did I... Mate. Where's it going? I'm getting so annoyed with all these inconsistencies, man. Yeah, it doesn't go in there for some reason. Something is blocking it. What is blocking it? Oh, you got to be shitting me. What is blocking it? Look, there's something in... Th That's it. I I'm going to delete this entire area. I want to see what's blocking it. This stupid laser in here. Why is that laser in there? Why is that in there? Oh 
Oh my gosh. Like seriously, what is this laser doing? You know what? I don't care. I'm taking it away. Okay, it's gonna be... No, that's gonna just be in your head now. <sighs> Mate. I don't care. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't care. Let's see if the toilet still opens. Huh. It's somehow closed on its own. Yeah, that's what the laser was for. Okay, you know what? I don't care. I'll put it back where it was. No, not in there. In there. I don't care. Like, this is just so dumb. Actually, no, I can't fix this. I can't fix this. Look, the bed. I think bed was like this. Yeah, bed can go in there. And then this laser can... Um, Go in there. Let me see if I can put the container in there now. Of course you can't. I, I just undid it. I, I don't care. I don't care. It's just an excess container, but it's just like... I don't know who designed it like this. Like, Really? You need to put that laser in there? Can't you use anything else? I don't know what this laser is supposed to be. It somehow closes the um, toilet. Yeah, so it, it it basically what it does if if you trip the wire, the laser trip wire tingling, then it just closes the toilet door. That's all it does. Oh mate. Okay, whatever. You could just put the pressure tile in there or a motion sensor or something. You could link it to the um, this motion sensor in here or something so yeah but i'm not gonna do the circuit and stuff in here so um right so i showed you all there is to show if you want to put uh, more stuff on it then i showed you how uh you can also put like wings everywhere if you want to uh, ruin the looks but uh, i don't so that's how it's gonna stay so now the only question is will it actually carry that 1000 tons so Let's try it out, shall we? Again, it's very difficult getting this weight over because everything just, you know, um, takes more volume. I could technically just look for something that is, um, that is, you know, uh, best, you know, uh, volume to mass ratio that takes small vo volume but has a lot of mass, but who cares, whatever. So, one kilo done. Let's see how it handles. Uh, I'm gonna also, uh, see where the data bank is wait there's nothing linked to that seat does it even have a data bank in here what's that transponder uh right i'm gonna just put my own data bank on it and then put um arch hot on it that's what i'll do why is this with dynamic ones okay whatever it's broken i guess uh sometimes i have salvaged some stuff and then uh it has like some weirdo values on it you know and then it starts doing weird stuff you know so um that fits in there doesn't it right and let's uh, connect it to that one and v2 um arch hot there we go all right let's go what warning invalid what Right, so apparently this time the issue was uh, with the seat itself. Um, what I had to do, I'm going to just explain it real quick, because some people have had the same issue. You go into the build mode and you completely remove the seat. I don't want to do it because that's going to also, you know, unlink and stuff, but uh, you completely remove it. You don't use uh, the move element tool. This doesn't do shit. You have to actually remove it, like you remove an element, like uh, let's say this chair. You remove it like this, right? And then 
you go into your uh, inventory, then you right click on it and remove dynamic properties. I didn't know which one it was, so I did it for all of them. So um, some of them are damaged, that's uh, why they are like this. You can't remove it if it says um, uh, can be restored like uh, two times or one time or something. Uh, so anyway, but it will remove all the Lua and all that stuff from it. And on some reason, even though I reapplied it, it just didn't work. So I had to completely remove the seat, remove the dynamic properties, put it back with the undo button, link the data bank, and now it works. Right, so the total mass is uh, really? The entire ship is only... Okay, whatever, let's take off. Let's go. Let's go lower. See, this time it doesn't throw me because it didn't have its time to throw me into the ceiling, but... Um, Let's see how it flies with um, 1,000 tons of cargo. I don't think it will have any issues. I don't have any space fuel though, so I'm not going to uh, do a space flight. Yeah, you can see it has decent lift. Okay, uh, again, don't uh, quote me on this one. I don't know if you can actually get this cargo into the space from um, Aloyet or uh, Haven or something. You should be able to. Yeah, it has enough uh, lift. I mean, you can see how well it turns. Well, like this. Yeah, it actually turns decently. It's not too bad. Well, it is flying it on the limit. It's not a performance build at all. I mean, with my modifications, it's still meh, you know. But it does turn decently if you turn uh, properly, you know. Again, I'm not gonna, like, start doing some, you know, exploration runs with it. I just wanted to show you how it flies. And it actually turns really uh, well with this kind of cargo, so... It's actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. You can also see how cool the base looks like now from distance. Look at that. Uh oh. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you have to uh, land these things like planes because um, if you drop from too high, it's going to just drop like a stone. I'm going to check the stats just before I end it and then it's going to go up for sale next to the other ships. So. I mean, it's pretty good with this kind of, you know, cargo. I don't even know how people fly this normally without uh, modifications. That's horrible. It has almost no lift whatsoever. Do they, like, hover over the ground with it? Use it as a hovercraft or something? I really like the front end. I know I said it, but I said it again. The wings, what I did in here, it looks really cool, you know? Like, kind of like scissors or something. Oh, mate, the radar came uh, unlinked. Yeah, whatever, that doesn't matter right now. I'll uh, fix it before I do that. But yeah, max frost, that might be an issue in here. The space max frost. It's less than 1G. But then again, if you get out of the atmosphere, then uh, you're not uh, in the 1G anymore. So And you have some momentum too. So it should be fine, you know. It should be fine. Yeah, Max, yeah, well, it might be an issue getting out of the atmosphere with this cargo, but uh, that's not the point. The point is, it is a lot better than the default version, which would, you know, just fall on its ass with this kind of cargo, and my version can actually fly, so... Besides, the original version doesn't go into space at all, so that's, uh, you know, added bonus anyway. So, anyway, I am pretty sure I made it better. So, now all there is to do is put it up for sale and wait for the customers. Hope you enjoyed this episode and well, stay tuned for the next one and I will see ya in the next one.